Let's get ready to sprinkle some love into your bullet journal with this February Valentine's Day doodling video. Grab your pen and paper and let's start doodling. Now I am using my Archer and Olive That Grid notebook and my monoline pen. I'm going to be adding links to everything down below so be sure to check the description. As always, I recommend for you to sketch everything in pencil first before going over with your monoline pen. Or you can also grab the traceable that I created and I will add the links in the comments. Also, if you wait until the end of this video, you're going to see how I decided to color all these adorable doodles so you can have an idea of how to color them and add them to your bullet journal or your planner. All right, doodle number one and two are done. Now we're going to doodle number three, which technically can be like three and four but i combine them together and these are the noms i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it correctly but i thought these were super adorable and as i was doing a little bit of research of how to doodle them i got like some people like them and some people <laughs> don't care for them too much if you love gnomes um, let me know in the comments i've seen some really cute ones for christmas as well so i don't know do you love them or or hate him. <laughs> Alright, for doodle 4 and 5, I have the heart key with this adorable heart lock. Now most of these doodles are self-explanatory um, when we are doodling them. I do like to use different types of pens when I am doing the outlines of the doodles. Usually I do a bigger one to do the other parts like a monoline 05 or 03 and then for the inside parts of the doodles I will do a smaller one like a 01. Some of the benefits of coloring and doodling, which I recently got into bed a little bit more, is stress reduction, which engaging in doodling or coloring can act as a form of mindfulness, helping you reduce stress and promote relaxation by allowing the mind to focus on the present moment. Because you really don't really have to think too much as you are making the doodles or coloring them, I definitely recommend you add doodling or coloring in to your day. Another cool benefit of doodling and coloring is that it gives you a creativity boost because it can stimulate the creative side of the brain, encouraging imaginative thinking and problem solving skills. They provide an outlet for self-expression and exploration of ideas. Doodling and coloring, which I didn't know, and uh, I decided to research a little bit more of the benefits of doodling and coloring is that it can improve your concentration because these activities require focus and attention to detail which can help improve concentration and enhance cognitive abilities especially in children i didn't know this and i was already doing doodling with my daughter she's six years old right now and she loves doodling and coloring and now that i know this i'm gonna start doing this with her even more all right and another benefit of doodling and coloring in particular is that it can help you with your fine model skills development in particular in children it can assist with the hand eye coordination and pencil grip now i know this is super beneficial for children but even for yourself this is super cool to know and now that i know more of this i'll definitely are going to be doing it more another super cool benefit of 
doodling and coloring is that it provides cognitive engagement, which means that both activities stimulate the brain and can provide memory, attention span, and problem-solving abilities over time. How cool is this? I mean, now I'm not trying to, you know, sell you in that you need to start coloring and doodling, but if you decide to do it, it is definitely great to know all the benefits that coloring and doodling have. And of course, one of the cool things is that it is accessible to all and it requires minimal supplies. You literally just can grab a pencil and paper and just start doodling. And I actually recently discovered a great set of color pencils. I'm gonna add them to the description down below. I shared them the other day in my stories and I, I gotta say that I am really satisfied with how they color. So I'm gonna add them to the link down below and you can see the end of this video of how the color um, doodles turned out. Now I've been rambling a lot but overall doodling and coloring offer a range of cognitive, emotional, and social benefits. Remember that you can grab the printable to trace the doodles and color them, and the link is in the description. Also, if you want me to create kind of like a step-by-step -step printable that you can follow along to create these doodles, comment below and let me know because I've been thinking about doing that but you gotta let me know. I, I'm always listening to you guys and the things that you like. I created the printable so you can trace along with me but if you want a step-by-step -step printable as well on how to create each of these doodles I will be happy to do that as well so be sure to leave it in the comments. Now this is how the doodle page turned out and the color version as well. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite and if you want some lettering ideas for your February cover page make sure you check the next video because in it I will show you five different creative ways that you can letter February in your bullet journal. I'll see you in the next video.